First reading for this first Lenten pause is Psalm 77, and if you'd like to follow along, it's found on page 791 of Voices United, and I will just speak the refrain. I cry aloud to God. I cry that God may hear me. In my time of distress, I have turned to God. With hands uplifted, I have prayed all night. But my soul refuses all comfort. God, bend your ear and hear my prayer. Then I recall your deeds, O God. I remember your wonders of old. I recount all your works and ponder the things you have done. O God, your ways are holy. What God is as great as you? You are the one who works wonders. You have shown your strength among nations. By your arm you redeemed your people, the children of Jacob and Joseph. God, bend your ear and hear my prayer. The waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you and churned in fear. The seas trembled to your depths. Clouds streamed water, the heavens rumbled. Your arrows bolted on every side. The voice of your thunder was heard in the whirlwind, lifting light up the world. The earth quaked and shuddered. Your way was through the sea, your path through mighty waters. Your footprints could not be seen, but by the hand of Moses and Aaron, you led your people like a flock. God, bend your ear and hear my prayer. Amen. And the next reading is taken from the book of Proverbs, reading chapter 30, verses 1 to... Nine. The words of Agur, son of Jeke, an oracle. Thus says the man, I am weary, O God. I am weary, O God. How can I prevail? Surely I am too stupid to be human. I do not have human understanding. I have not learned wisdom, nor have I knowledge of the Holy Ones, who has ascended to heaven and come down, who has gathered the wind in the hollow of the hand, who has wrapped up the waters in a garment, who has established all the ends of the earth. What is the person's name? What is the name of the person's child? Surely you know. Every word of God proves true. He is a shield to those who take refuge in God. Do not add to God's words or God will rebuke you. Two things I ask of you. Do not deny them to me before I die. Remove far from me falsehood and lying. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with the food that I need, or I shall be full and deny you. And say, who is the Lord? Or I shall be poor and steal and profane the name of my God. Amen. And this is a reading from the book of Matthew, 
reading chapter 4, verses 1 through 11. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be, to be tempted by the devil. He fasted 40 days and 40 nights, and afterwards he was famished. The tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But Jesus answered, It is written one does not live by bread alone, but every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and on their hands they will bear you up so that you will not dash your stone, your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, Again it is written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again the devil took Jesus to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. And he said to him, All these I will give you, if you will fall down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, Worship God and serve God only. Then the devil left Jesus, and suddenly angels came and waited on him. Amen. I wonder in this week of Lent, what these readings might mean for you on your journey in this time of pandemic and in your life. What do these readings, what are they saying to you?